Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Today, when we look at the Christian world, we say we are believers, but what does our action say? We read in Hebrews 11 verse 6, without faith, we cannot please God. Faith without works is dead. So the faith that the Bible demands is not the worldly faith. It's a gift of God. And if you have that faith that comes through Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith, then Christian life is on a different plane. It's on a, it's flying, it's like flying on at a very high altitude. Very high altitude. I don't know how many of you have heard about the supersonic passenger aircrafts that once flew in the skies. They, are, they, they were called as the Concords. Today, the passenger flights, the airplanes, they fly maximum up to 40,000 feet. They don't go beyond that. But the Concords were flying at 57,000 feet. And the speed was twice the sound, the, twice the speed of sound. They crossed the Atlantic in three and a half hours, while the normal passenger planes, they take six hours. A child of God with that faith, his walk, he's in a different realm. Now, for example, when we travel around, go to different countries, I carry with me little currency, Indian currency, so that at the airport we might need it. But if when I come to your country or to any other country, for example, when I land in the Philippines, I can't use my Indian currency there. I can't buy coffee or tea. The cashier will say, sorry, sir. That currency is not accepted here. Same way, as a child of God, the currency that I am supposed to use is faith. That's the currency in the wallet of a child of God. Nothing else is accepted. But if I don't have that faith, that Christian life is hard. Many are struggling. This is a gift from God and God will give it to those who earnestly love Him and have decided to serve the Lord, to love Him. And when you decide, heaven blesses us. Today, many, they want to serve the Lord. They want to, many youngsters want to come out for the ministry. But these days, we come across youngsters, they say, we want to serve the Lord, but with a job. We will be working plus serving the Lord. That's not how a, a, a minister ministers. When he enters the ministry, the basic concept is, the basic principle is, I have burnt all the bridges and I'll be trusting God to take care of all my needs. It's me and my God. If He provides, that's enough. I'll not be going in search of anything. But today, it's hard to find youngsters who say, I step out by faith. The vineyard, the, the, the harvest is plenteous. But the laborers are few. Present day generations, they say, yes, we want to serve. But on the other hand, we want to have some security. When sickness comes, I know that Jesus heals. I know. 
He died on the cross. By his stripes we are healed. But then we are educated. The doctors are also there to help us. I'll take the medicine and I'll pray over it. I'll ask the Lord to bless it. That's our faith. Look at Enoch. By faith he trusted God and he walked. 